Homeless it, people, I think, are pretty happy people. Yeah, I mean, I think they don't when, look it. when you get excited that somebody put a, you know, a quarter in your cup, that's a simple way of living. You're like, wow. Because none of us in this room would be like holding a cup and all of a sudden you walk by and put a quarter and I'd be like, what are you doing? Why, why are you doing that? Well, the guy on the street's ecstatic, you know? No, usually he's like, what a quarter. <laughs> well. <laughs> and so you get you spare any change? Nobody can spare right. change. I, you, didn't ask spare me, change. I, you didn't ask me for a dollar. You said, can I spare Actually, some change? I forgot. Change? Heidi throws away change. You don't even like... I have a chains jar. I do throw away pennies because I think it's fun for kids to find. You know, when you were a kid, I do. I, I throw them in the trash, though, for the kids who are actually looking for stuff at the dump. And they're like, oh, my God, a shiny penny. Oh, and a shoe. Oh, right. <laughs> and they're, they're hopping out of the dump on their new shoe. <laughs> and their penny, their bright, shiny penny. Uh, Eric, do you have that um, technology that you have now that you don't think you could live without? Uh, would online shopping count? I know you said internet, but I couldn't live if I couldn't online shop. Oh, I do online shop quite a bit, too. That Zappos, I don't know. They should advertise on this show because I love them with all my heart and soul. I thought they did. They advertise on this show? They should. Zappos, I love. And isn't that a shoe place? It's a shoe. No, but now it used to How do you to try be. on shoes online? You don't. I don't get that. You don't. It's like you got to walk around. How do I walk around? I look in that little mirror that's angled up. <laughs> like, see, see my feet. <laughs> These are going to make me run faster. I can feel it. I'm just thinking if I get the stuff, it's a very woman thing to shop online in that sense where you love it so much. I mean, if I need a certain thing that I, can go, that I can't find anyplace else, I'll go online and get it. But I'm not the type to buy clothes. So it's like, oh, I'm going to try this shirt on. Uh, let me pack it back up and mail it out You would again. think, though, it's more of a guy's thing because you it's don't like want to. No, but you don't want to run to the mall. And, if, and like at Zappos, you don't like it. You but if I run to the mall, I back. know what I need at the mall and I go to the mall and I get it. Or you can There's sit, no waiting around. You can sit on the couch on your iPad and go, oh, that looks like a cool shirt. Yeah. Put in the old shop. I think it's because you guys like getting gifts and you consider it when that you go out. True. It's like, oh my God. And then I don't remember what I ordered. I'm <laughs> yeah, like, what oh, I get from Zappo. What is this? Oh, I forgot uh, oh. I ordered this. It's true. Bright green Crocs. How long ago did I get oh. these? <laughs> they finally got here. I think they messed up my order. Is Luke Robitaille hanging out in the other room? Where is Luke? Get him in oh, here. Let's see. How you doing, hey. man? How are you? Brought right. quite the entourage with you, man. I'm Frank. Hello. Nice to meet you. You look at that. You, you look like a big famous guy. You guys uh, <laughs> celebrating your uh, your uh, thing with KBC? Our new partnership. Yeah, that's look what at we're that. celebrating today. Is this the first time you came by and, and so seen the place? First time coming by, yeah. I was here years ago, but this is the first time coming as a partner. Yeah, yeah huh? here in a, in, a, in a different way. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Well, no, the door's always open over here at KLOS, too, okay. in case you ever want to like, push All right, some, we're going to come, we're gonna come stop by, by and come and bother you guys a little bit. By the way, I wanted to say this, is that um, this is the first season that I ever watched hockey because my sister-in-law is a, is a major Kings fan and a major Luke Robitaille fan and w would be losing her mind right now if she was here, but... I was never into hockey before, but she's so passionate about it, uh -huh. and she was over at the house, and it was, I think, just before the, the playoffs started, and watching uh, hockey, and I am now a hockey fan. I get it. I love it. I And here's what I didn't notice that I was doing. I stand the entire time I watch the game, because I can't sit down. Like, I, I would sit down, <laughs> and I would just be standing the entire time watching, so I love hockey. And it was just good. this year that I that I got turned well, on good. to Well, good. Welcome aboard. Thank you. <laughs> she picked a good year, huh? Oh, you picked a good year. I mean... But by the way, none of us could sit down throughout the playoffs either. <laughs> yeah, oh, she actually, um, during the playoffs, she went and like, got her little, like, uh, L.A. Kings, like, girly shirt and yeah, the hat. Nice. And I was like, you Very cannot nice. wear that. <laughs> he did tell me. <laughs> Until after it's over. You can't put it on mid, you know, mid playoff and, you know, in the finals. You can't start wearing that stuff because yeah. you're going to jinx us all. Do you have a superstition? That's true. Well, did, hockey people are nuts. Yeah. We're all superstitious. Oh, the beards. Whatever. Yeah. 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 So I'm still growing mine beard. for next year. <laughs> we were wearing, our guys were wearing different socks and, you know, we were eating meatballs at some point. I mean, it just went on and on. Whatever, whatever works. Whatever were was working something? at that time, right. we were doing. It's like when you were watching the game and you're up there, mm -hmm. you know, in the, in, the, in the boxes and you're watching the game, were you doing something in your mind or... Oh yeah, yeah we ate meatballs for a while meat for a bunch of games, it? every game, and uh, even you know, if you didn't a lot want of to buildings, like, the meatballs them. are not that good, you know. <laughs> and then we went on to chicken fingers, and you know whatever was working. You at had the chicken time. fingers last night, and we won, so we all had to have chicken fingers again. I love that. I love that. <laughs> Made sure I had a glass of red wine before oh. every game, so that was a really good ritual. <laughs> oh, that's my ritual every night. That's I love, pretty much I love every, that every commercial break. She does <laughs> that <laughs> ritual. It's crazy. Make sure the show keeps going. So nineteen seasons in the NHL. When you wake up in the morning. 
thing. Is there a particular part of your body that just needs to wake up like an hour later? Uh, like, oh, my knee. Uh, <laughs> not anymore. I mean, people ask me, what, is it, what does it feel like retiring? I said, well, it took me about a year and a half. And then you suddenly one day you get out of bed and nothing hurts. You go, right. oh, I didn't know I could live this way. <laughs> and that's, that's a lot Pain of fun. Free. But I'm not popping a leave every, you know, yeah, when you're When you're a player, like, you, you get out of bed in the morning, especially as you get your last 10 years of your career. It was it was hard many mornings. Well, you haven't let yourself go. So, what are you doing now, as far as athletically, Cut to stay the in shape? French fries. You, know, you eat chicken to... fingers, <laughs> meatballs. Every... No French fries, <laughs> though. The, the, hold no, the fries. I, I, I try to. to are you do a, a no few carb things. guy? No, like no carbs? No, I, I try to be smart. Because every know. time you see somebody who's in shape, they're like, "Yeah, yeah, I'm um, staying away from gluten, you know, and no bread." And I'm like, "Well, I'm out. I can't. Yeah. I can't if, do it that I way." I try to stay away, but it's it's always good to have it what do you do you run but, or what do you do to work out I, I was doing that soul cycle class okay yeah like, is that what that's spinning done. in the dark it's like this it's kind of in the dark yeah and they play funky music yeah, or something yeah. like that it's pretty cool yeah. I mean, it's 45 minutes you're out of there i like it yeah and a lot they, of hot chicks they never are let doing you sit down too. though you're like can we sit on the no they, they won't let you sit down <laughs> you know, you're like you're up the entire time like i'm standing the entire time that's hard that's a <laughs> hard workout i thought i was in good shape i'm a runner i thought i was in good shape i took a a spin class and i was like oh this is it was it's really hard. Yeah, it's a hard it's hard. workout. But r- running is the best though. If you can run, it's great. I mean, yeah. I would struggle to run. So looking uh, forward to uh, next season, are we going to see any uh, roster changes? Is everybody coming back? What? No, we're not making uh, too many changes. We we sign all of our guys. The way it works in our game, we, there's a salary cap, so we're basically a team that's at the cap. But the the beauty with our team is we're very young. Our core players, like the guys that help us win the cup every year they're very very young so we feel we're going to compete for the cup for the next you know eight eight to, eight to ten years with those young guys so we're having a lot of fun right now in la and i think we're gonna have a lot of fun for the next who's few the youngest years. guy in the kings right now or, or uh, right old? now well we had a kid uh, tyler Tofoli and tanner pearson they're 21 <sighs> years old and then but you know some of our core guys like drew dowdy's 24 anze kopitar's 25 and but for Our you, when goalie. you say like the 19 seasons in the NHL, that's really unheard of. As far as like being a, in, in the NHL, when you uh, are young and you have the salary cap or you're making money, you better do something with your money then because you don't know how long you're going to be in the game. Oh, no, you never know. Game. Yeah, I mean, an injury can happen really quickly. And uh, but at so what point do you smart. like you you know you're a married guy and you're like you know I'm making good money. I could probably buy a house and a nice car, but you're like I don't know. I can blow yeah. my knee and it's don't all don't gun out the pool. Right. You might blow so a knee. Like, at what point it, do you go? I think I. I can get a place. I can get a house, you know, when you're a <laughs> hockey player. Like, Usually your manager will come in. It's time to buy a house. You right. know, in the United States, you can write off the the, the mortgage. <laughs> That's the speech. You're right, right, right. <laughs> get ahead of your so team. So our guys are like, oh, okay. Yeah, maybe it's time. <laughs> Is there uh, some uh, technology now that uh, we didn't have before that you can't live without? Uh, I mean, I'm old. The, the iPhone. <laughs> yeah. Your iPhone? Are you addicted to it? You, know, you, like, you, you can't live without your phone. It's oh, ridiculous. Are you on no. social media? Uber. At all? Uber. I can't oh, live without Uber. Uber, I love Uber that. is so great. <laughs> Uber is so great. Like we should not see any celebrities get, getting arrested for drunk driving. You have no. to, especially with Uber. You're like, go out, party. It's it's the only thing with Uber that's a little weird, especially for a woman. Is I go, I'm you know getting some some guy, some strange man in a car is coming to pick yeah. me up, and I'm like, I guess it. Nice roll up at a black sedan right. outside of the club. Like, like, as, as using like a car company. And that's you know, true. Like a, I was thinking the other day, we used to have to order a car the day before. Right. And the other day, I was kind of like going to the airport, and it took three minutes, and the car was out. And that's pretty cool. It is really cool. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Luke Robitaille hanging out with us. The uh, the Kings are they have a deal now with our sister station, 790 mm-hmm. KBC. So if you're going to be... Uh, listening to some uh, hockey on uh, the radio. Turn to 790 KBC. That's right. And uh, I'm sure I'll be seeing you and uh, the players in the hallway oh, here. Yeah, oh, yeah. We'll be coming out. by, just, just hanging just out with you guys. Yeah. The can, lunch can we do fan? <laughs> right. Can yeah. we come by? Can we hang out? I want to ride on the Zamboni or something oh, like God, that. Yeah. Do that. Good. We'll do that. Yeah. Good deal. All right. Oh, I want to go to a Kings game. If you want, you could be a goalie and our guys will take a couple shots. Oh, my God. Don't worry. If they hit you, it was a mistake. This is a bad shot. I didn't stop it. What's that commercial where the guys at the... Oh, it's a Honda commercial. Yeah, I think. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, hey. uh, no, that'd be awesome. Oh, so yeah, we're looking forward that. to you know having a relationship okay. with you too. Doors always Welcome open. To the family. Luke right, Robitaille, ladies you. and gentlemen, we're gonna take a break. Come right back. We're Heidi and Frank. Oh, that was just a little sample of the Heidi and Frank show on 95.5 KLOS. Now to get the show in its entirety on demand, and if you want to watch the show, we webcast it every day. All you have to do is go to heidiandfrank.com and become a premium package member. Do it right now.